Hello guys, I'm back with one more video. I have this laptop HP EliteBook 8470P model. The issue with this is, as you can see, the keyboard is damaged uh, with uh, some spill on it, like uh, looks like a water or some sticky stuff, maybe coffee. So it doesn't work no more. So I'll show you how we can replace this. Okay, first we'll do is remove the battery from back. Okay, there are two screws that we need to uh, remove. So this is the first one. Actually, the screw won't come out. It's just make it loose a bit so you can pull the keyboard from the front out. As you can see, there is a sign here for the keyboard. If you want to remove a keyboard, these are the two screws. As you can see, the sign yeah, right there. Just make sure it's loose enough so it, it won't come off. The screw won't come out. But just make it loose a bit. We'll be able to fill it. Now we'll open the back cover of this uh, laptop. So let's do that. There we go. Okay, now next we have to remove three screws from here. One, two, and three. So the same same thing. We're not gonna it, the screw won't come off. Just loosen it up a little bit. Loose enough to remove this uh, uh, fan. So right there, these are the five screws we need to remove. One, two, three, and four and five. Once those three screws out, gently remove the fan. There you go. And there's a plug right there. Just pull this wire gently. Alright, there we go. And just leave it one aside for now. Now we're gonna flip this over open the front lid and on one side of the edge uh, key of the keyboard we're just gonna I have this uh, small screwdriver that I'm gonna slide it in a little bit to lift it up there you go and gently I'm gonna lift it from each side there you go it's pretty easy to come off once those all the screws are off from the back Okay, so this is the cable that connects to the uh, main board, motherboard. This is the cable from the keyboard. So you can lift this tab up and remove it gently. There we go. There's another one, small one right there. Lift it up and pull it out. Yeah. Okay, so this is the old one now. I have another uh, uh, new keyboard now with me. So I'm gonna just move this aside. This, as you can see, is damaged, and this is the new one. So we'll just reverse the procedure now. Uh, follow the same thing that we did. First, we're gonna plug in both the cables in gently. All right, that's all set. Now we're gonna flip this keyboard over and lay it over on here. Make sure from each corner, gently push from each corner slowly uh, so it stays in. Then close the lid, flip it over and just put the screw back in, plug in the fan and you're good to go.
right i'm gonna turn this laptop on now and just to test if the keyboard is all good here we go all right yep it works so this is how you fix it this is how you replace the keyboard if it is not responding properly or stay it somehow so this is the easiest way you can replace it